let's learn the 15 vowel sounds of American English. I will briefly introduce you to the 15 different sounds and you will be able to see the phonetic symbols for each sound. And then after this lesson, you will study the difficult sounds in a lot more detail so that you can learn how to fix the biggest mistakes that non-native speakers make when they're trying to speak with an American accent. All right, let's take a look at the first one. The first one is E, E. Some common words include please, see, meet, believe. Say it one more time with me. E. Okay, vowel number two is I, I. This, difficult, if, dinner. Say it with me. I, I. Okay, vowel number three is A, A. Late, gate. Baseball, stay, okay. Let's say it again. A. Okay, vowel number four is e, e. Bed, men, dress, friend. Say it with me. E, e. Vowel number five. A, A, apple, man, stand, angry. Say it with me. A. Okay, let's take a look at vowel number six. A, A, hot, topic. Office, modern. Say it with me. Ah, ah. Vowel number seven. Uh, uh. But, done. Jump, love. Say it with me. Uh, uh. This sound is usually written like this in your dictionary, uh, but sometimes you might also see this symbol, uh. They're basically the same sound, uh. Okay, vowel number eight, aw, aw. Always, tall, bought, thought. One more time. Ah. Okay. Vowel number nine. O. O. Go. Drove. Slow. Moment. Repeat after me. O. <clears throat> Vowel number ten. U. U. Book. Foot. Pull, push, took. Say it with me. Uh, uh. Vowel number 11. Oo, oo. Moon, shoes, room, blue. Say it with me. Oo. Vowel number 12, er, er, first, Thursday, girl, work. Say it with me, er. Okay, vowel number 13, I, I, time, while, nine. Dining. Say it with me. I. I. Vowel number 14. Ow. Ow. Now. House. Brown. 
a noun. Say it with me. Ow. And finally, vowel number 15, oi, oi, enjoy, noise, boy, annoying. Say it with me. Oi. So these are the 15 vowel sounds of American English. Now let's study them in more detail. We categorize vowels as either tense or neutral, or sometimes we say relaxed instead of the word neutral. When we say a vowel is tense, it means that our tongue is tense and sometimes our lips are also tense. For example, when I say E or when I say O, oh, there's a lot happening, my mouth is moving and it's tense. When I say I, or when I say uh, there's not much happening in my mouth. I, uh, uh. My lips are relaxed and my tongue is relaxed in the back. One of the main problems that learners have with the American accent is they have not learned the difference between tense and neutral vowels. So it's very important to know the difference because otherwise you might confuse words like fool and full, or hot and hot, or steel and still. Sometimes in other languages these sounds can sound exactly the same. So let's learn the four neutral vowels of American English. The first one is I. So we don't say E, we say I. Very neutral, very relaxed. The second one is e. We don't say a, we say e. The third one is a. We don't say a, we say a. We don't say love, we say love, love. And the fourth one is u, u. We don't say book, we say book. In the following lessons, you will have a chance to learn in detail the differences between some of these very confusing vowel sounds. But for now, I want you to remember the four main neutral vowel sounds. It, e, uh, a, and u. Uh. Okay, let's get started. Do you ever confuse the words steal and still, or eat and it, or feel and fill? Not knowing the difference between these two vowel sounds could even cause you to say a bad word. For example, some people confuse the words beach and bitch, or even worse, sometimes sheet and shit. As you can see, it's really important to know the difference between these two vowel sounds. And the difference sometimes doesn't exist in other languages. So let me teach you how to fix that mistake permanently. The most important thing that you need to know is that one vowel is tense and the other vowel is neutral or relaxed. And the phonetic symbols look like this. This symbol represents the E, E, as in words like please, steal, me, see. And these words are usually spelled with a double E, for example, C or cheese, or EA, as in please or beat, or sometimes IE or EI as in believe. Okay, 
Now, the other thing that you need to know about this vowel is to produce it, your lips must be tense and your tongue must be tense in the back of your mouth. So, look at me. E, E. Your tongue must be tense back here, so raise your tongue up in the back and say E. To try this out, put your fingers right here, right under your jaw. E, E. Your fingers should be moving a little bit. They're moving because your tongue is tense in the back. E, E. Now for the other vowel, I, your, your tongue will not be moving and therefore your fingers will not be moving. Your tongue will be neutral and relaxed. I, I. And your lips will also be relaxed. I, I. And the phonetic symbol for that vowel looks like this, I. This is E and this is I. The common spelling for this sound would be the letter I as in words like if, different, this, thing. And sometimes the letter Y if it's in the middle of the word, not at the end of the word. In the middle of the word, for example, the word system or gym. All right. Let's practice a few words. Let's try the tense vowel again. E, E, C, I, I, this. Let's try a few words now. Feet, fit, tense and relaxed. One more time. Feet, fit, leave, live, leave, live. Sleep, slip, sleep, slip. These, this, these, this. All right, let's try some sentences now. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Did you heat it? Did you hit it? He doesn't want to leave. He doesn't want to live. And now we will do some more sentences. And every example in the following sentences has the tense vowel, E. Repeat after me. She was feeling sleepy after eating the big meal. She was feeling sleepy after eating the big meal. These three people speak Chinese. These three people speak Chinese. We love the green fields and the beach breezes. We love the green fields and the beach breezes. Steve believes he will see Peter this week. Steve believes he will see Peter this week. I will leave the East Coast in three weeks. I will leave the East Coast in three weeks. And let's practice some sentences now that have the I sound. There are six filthy dishes in the kitchen sink. There are six filthy dishes in the kitchen sink. Mr. and Mrs. Smith lived in India for six years. Mr. and Mrs. Smith lived in India for six years. Bill took some interesting pictures on his trip to Italy last spring. Bill took some interesting pictures on his trip to Italy last spring. The winter wind will bring a big chill. 
The winter wind will bring a big chill. Do you think that this swimmer has the ability to win? Do you think that this swimmer has the ability to win? Remember one more important thing. The main difference between these two vowels isn't that one vowel is long and one vowel is short. The main difference is that one vowel is tense and one vowel is neutral or relaxed. Because even a tense vowel can sometimes be prolonged if the word is stressed. For example, wow, your house is big. So you see, a lot of people wrongly assume that that's the only difference, long and short. Remember, tense and relaxed. Let's compare two more vowels that can be confusing to people. One of them is tense and one of them is neutral. This one is a ah, and this one is a. Uh. This is the tense one. The reason this can be a problem for a lot of people is sometimes this vowel is actually spelled with the letter O. So for example, the word hot, H-O-T, we don't say hot, we say hot. It's pronounced exactly as the A ah in the words father or army or watch. So the O and the A both have the same sound very frequently, which is ah. To create the ah sound, open your mouth wide and keep your tongue at the bottom of your mouth and let the tip of your tongue touch your bottom teeth, like this, ah, ah. And this vowel is usually longer than most people who are non-native speakers tend to make it. So don't say stop, say stop. Stop. That's impossible. Particularly if it's a verb or a noun, we prolong the ah in the stressed syllable. That's impossible. I love my new job. So let's take a look at the neutral sound. Uh, uh. My lips are neutral. Uh, they're not doing very much. And my tongue is also neutral in the back. Uh, uh. Everything is relaxed. There's hardly any movement in my face. Uh, uh. It's almost like if you punch yourself in the stomach, uh, uh. it's just this tiny little noise, very short little uh. Repeat, ah, uh, uh. This sound is commonly spelled with the letter U, as in the words like up, fun, but, number. But also, sometimes this sound is spelled with OU, as in words like cousin, my cousin. We don't say my cousin, we say my cousin, or country. And once in a while, this sound is also spelled with the letter O, as in words like love. We don't say love, we say love, or son, my son, or other. We don't say other, we say other, or done. Done, D-O-N-E, I'm done. Let's practice a few words now with ah and uh. Repeat after me. Shot, shut. Don, done. Lock, luck. Cop, cup. Not, nut. Robber, rubber. All right, let's practice some sentences now that contain the ah sound. Many of these words are going to be spelled with the letter O. Make sure that you don't say O. Oh. It's not Robert, it's Robert. It's not McDonald, it's McDonald. All right, let's practice. Repeat after me. The modern novel is very popular. The modern novel is very popular. Tom
Tom will watch hockey with his father. Tom will watch hockey with his father. John will probably study biology in college. John will probably study biology in college. I will not bother to respond to Tom's offer. I will not bother to respond to Tom's offer. If you gossip about your boss, you might lose your job. If you gossip about your boss, you might lose your job. Okay, now let's practice some sentences with the a uh sound. We must discuss this with the other judge. We must discuss this with the other judge. My buddy Doug is a wonderful drummer. My buddy Doug is a wonderful drummer. On Mondays, he plays the drums in that club. On Mondays, he plays the drums in that club. On Sunday, I had duck for lunch with my cousin. On Sunday, I had duck for lunch with my cousin. He doesn't study much and he loves to have fun. He doesn't study much and he loves to have fun. If you're not sure whether the sound is a ah or a, uh, you might have to look in your dictionary and look at these symbols because as you can see, sometimes the spelling can be confusing. Let's take a look at two more vowels that are commonly confused because one is tense and one is neutral. It's the oo and the u. For the oo sound, the lips are rounded. Oo, oo. And for the neutral sound, the lips are very slightly rounded. U, u, u. The common spelling patterns for the oo are double o, as in food and moon, and a U plus E, as in blue and true. And for the U, we also have a double O, as in words like look, took, shook, and O-U-L-D, as in would, could, should. So don't say I would like, say I would like. Don't say look at the good book, say look at the good book. And the letter U, as in words like push and pull. Let's practice the two sounds now. Repeat after me. Fool, full. Look, look. Pool, pull. And now, let's practice some sentences. First, let's practice the words that have the oo sound in them. The report was due on Tuesday at noon. The report was due on Tuesday at noon. He knew the value of those two suits. He knew the value of those two suits. The crew uses a lot of new tools. The crew uses a lot of new tools. In the future, there will be new school rules. In the future, there will be new school rules. Susan wore her new shoes to school. 
Susan wore her new shoes to school. And now let's practice sentences with the uh sound. The woman in the wool pullover is good looking. The woman in the wool pullover is good looking. It would be good if you could help me. It would be good if you could help me. You should walk in the woods. You should walk in the woods. He took a good look under the hood. He took a good look under the hood. He spent his childhood playing football. He spent his childhood playing football. Again, if you're not sure if the sound is oo or u, uh, you might have to look in your dictionary because both of these sounds are very frequently spelled with a double O. The next sound we're going to look at is the a eh sound. Repeat after me, a. Eh. So your lips are open and your tongue is down and your tongue is tense, a, eh, a. Eh. In British English, this sound very frequently sounds like ah. Oh. So British people say class, Americans say class. British speakers say moth, Americans say math, math class. So your mouth is open and your tongue is down. The common spelling pattern for this word is the letter A. So let's practice some words. Apple, angry, man, fat, dance, Los Angeles, class, Dance class, Los Angeles, California, random, answer, random answer. So as you can see, it's kind of a big vowel, especially if it's a noun or a verb. Make sure the sound is really prolonged. I can't stand it. I can't stand that class. Let's practice some sentences now. Last January, Adam traveled to Los Angeles, California. Last January, Adam traveled to Los Angeles, California. Jack lacks cash because of a bad gambling habit. Jack lacks cash because of a bad gambling habit. Frank is angry and he demands a fast answer. Frank is angry and he demands a fast answer. I bought my black jacket on my last trip to France. I bought my black jacket on my last trip to France. My family understands that I can't handle that matter. My family understands that I can't handle that matter. So don't say ah and don't say eh. It's kind of between those two. It's ah with a smile. Eh. The next sound we will look at is the ah sound. Repeat after me, ah, ah. So your jaw is all the way down and your lips are kind of oval shaped like an egg, ah. 
Don't push your lips forward too much. Don't say o. Oh. In British English, this sound is very different from American English. So if you studied British English in your country, be careful. Americans say tall. British speakers say tall. Americans say fall. British speakers say fall. The common spelling pattern for this sound is an A-L. For example, tall, small, always. Another common spelling pattern is the A-U, as in the words auto, automobile, August. We don't say August, we don't say ow, and we don't say the British way, we don't say o, we say a, August audience, applaud. So don't say applaud and don't say applaud. Say applaud. Another common spelling pattern is the A-W as in saw, law, awful. Let's practice some sentences now. He paused in the hall to talk with Paul. He paused in the hall to talk with Paul. The author talked to the small audience. The author talked to the small audience. We all thought you bought it at the mall. We all thought you bought it at the mall. It's awful that he always breaks the law. It's awful that he always breaks the law. He's exhausted because he's been walking all day long. He's exhausted because he's been walking all day long. So remember, don't say o, oh, say ah. Let's look at another sound now that learners of English sometimes pronounce incorrectly, and that's the O sound. Repeat after me, O. People wrongly pronounce this sound as O, uh, O. Uh. We don't say no, we say no. So it's actually two sounds, it's O and O together. So you have to move your mouth from O to O, O, O. So don't say, no, I don't. You need to say, no, I don't. So Americans don't really have this ah uh, sound. We have ah as in hot and God and job. And we have o oh, as in go, post. Let's practice some words now. Let's practice words that have the o, oh, post, moment. Go, O-W as in flow, slow, show, O-A as in road, boat, soap. So don't say but, say boat. Let's practice some more words now. No, I don't. Don't go. So slow. Almost over. Let's practice some sentences now. The lonely soldier wrote home. The lonely soldier wrote home. The wind mostly blows over the ocean. The wind mostly blows over the ocean. Do you know who owns most of those homes? Do you know who owns most of those homes? Let's watch the show in slow motion. Let's watch the show in slow motion. He sold both of his boats. 
he sold both of his boats. So remember, two sounds, o, u, o. Now we will look at the er sound. Repeat after me. Er, er. This sound is produced with the uh sound, the very short uh neutral sound, plus the er, er. The common spelling for this sound can be almost any vowel plus the R. Let's look. For example, ER, as in words like her, H-E-R. We don't say hair, we say her. I love her. I want to talk to her. Or teacher. Don't say teacher, say teacher. She's a good teacher. A-R, as in words like grammar. Don't say grammar, say grammar. Or E-A-R, for example, learn and heard. Don't say learn and heard. It's learn and heard. Also, I-R, for example, bird, first, girl. O-R is a difficult one. A lot of people would say work. That's incorrect. Don't say I go to work. Say I go to work. Or worry. Don't say worry. Say worry. Don't worry. Another one is word. I learned a new word. Another one is the U-R. For example, nurse. She's a good nurse. Or hurt. My hand hurts. All right, let's practice some more words now. Repeat after me. Work early. Work early. Learn the words. Learn the words. Don't say learn the words. Learn the words. Early bird. Early bird. Perfect world. Perfect world. Let's practice some sentences now. It's your turn to work early on Thursday. It's your turn to work early on Thursday. I'm certain that Mr. Turner has courage. I'm certain that Mr. Turner has courage. I heard that the first earthquake was the worst. I heard that the first earthquake was the worst. Don't worry about learning those German words. Don't worry about learning those German words. The early bird always gets the worm. The early bird always gets the worm. Remember, if there's a vowel before the R, chances are that the sound is pronounced as er. Let's talk about vowel length now. American vowels can sometimes sound very long and louder if the syllable is stressed or if the word is stressed. For example, if I say the word banana, banana has three syllables. Let's take a look. So we have banana. This second syllable is stressed. That means this vowel is going to be much longer. Repeat, banana, banana. So the a eh is going to be prolonged. Let's look at another word that has three syllables and also three a's. This time, the first syllable is stressed. 
this time, this a eh is really long. So don't say Canada. Say Canada. Canada. So you need to ask yourself, which syllable is stressed? And when you know which syllable is stressed, make sure that you make the vowel really big. For example, let's take the sound ah, as in the word biology. We don't say biology. We say biology. Biology. I'm studying biology. Or if we say photography, I'm studying photography. I really love photography. So prolong those vowels when the syllable is stressed. The same thing happens when the word is stressed. We stress verbs and nouns generally. We stress the keywords. So if I say, I love my new class, the word class is a noun. So we don't say, I love my new class. We say, I love my new class. I love my new class. I love my new job. Make those vowels long in stressed words and in stressed syllables. Let's practice some sentences with stressed vowels. I love it. So don't say, I love it. Say, I love it. Make the uh really long. I have to call him. I have to call him. You're really tall. You're really tall. It's hot. It's hot. Let's go to the park. Let's go to the park. Here we're going to stress two words. We're going to stress job and hospital. I got a job at the hospital. I got a job at the hospital. So remember, prolong those vowels in stressed words and in stressed syllables. In the last lesson, you learned how to prolong vowels and how to stress them. In this lesson, you will learn how to reduce them and why you need to reduce them. Let me show you. Let's take a word like symbol. We have two syllables. The first syllable is stressed and the second syllable is reduced. When we have a reduced vowel, we don't pronounce it fully. We don't say symbol. We reduce it and we pronounce it as a uh, symbol. Symbol. So the O changes. Let's look at another ending with O. For example, we stress the first syllable here, low, low, but we don't say local or local. We reduce the second syllable and it becomes the uh, local, local. So you see OL and AL sound exactly the same because they're both reduced syllables. So any vowel can sound like uh when it's part of the reduced syllable. Let's look at another word. This word, if it's a noun, it's pronounced as Record. The first syllable is stressed. Record. This O changes. So it's not O, it's a. Uh. Record. If it's a verb, this word is pronounced record. I'd like to record my voice. In that case, the O is fully pronounced. It's prolonged and it's stressed. And this part now becomes short. It almost disappears and it becomes the a uh sound. Record. Record. The same thing happens when words are reduced within sentences. Remember I told you we stress the key words like nouns and verbs? Well, we reduce the little unimportant words like prepositions and articles. For example, prepositions like in, on, at, for, 
with, by. These words are not very important. So the vowels inside those words can sound really short and they sound like uh. So we don't say at, we say at. We don't say look at me, we say look at me, look at me. We don't say to, we say t. I'd like to talk to you. So don't say I'd like to talk to you. Reduce that vowel and say t, t. I'd like to talk to you. We don't say for, we say fur. So don't say I'm looking for you. Say I'm looking for you. Fur. Let's practice some sentences now. Let's meet at 2 o'clock. So don't say at and o'clock. Reduce the o in the word o'clock. Let's meet at 2 o'clock. I'd like to talk to the pilot. So don't say, I'd like to talk to the pilot. The O in pilot becomes a. Uh. I'd like to talk to the pilot. Let's meet for breakfast. Don't say, let's meet for breakfast. It's, let's meet for breakfast. I'd love to go for a walk. Don't say, I'd love to go for a walk. Say, I'd love to go for a walk. So remember, reduced syllables and reduced words have the uh sound. <laughs>